part of the conceit of this is Sports Center is you know you get to campus, you come to campus with quite a lot of good scripts, but you never know what's going to happen, and you never know the vibe, and you never know how the athletes are going to respond. We definitely wanted to shoot stoppage time which is very much in a conference room, much more of a, a stage setting. But we always kind of had orange slices in our back pocket in that if things went well and things were moving along, let's definitely shoot that. And that's literally like they just sat in the middle of a hallway <laughs> and started eating orange slices. So the pile of orange rind just kept growing and growing and growing as we shot take after take after take. So it just made for a better spot at the end. Laura Gentili, Executive Vice President, Social Media and Marketing at ESPN. NJ Placentra, uh, Creative Director. Andrew Kong, Creative Director. I'm Pat Bloomer, I'm at a lead at XYZ here at Arts and Letters Creative Company and the editor for This is Sports Center. So what does it mean to you and to ESPN to bring this campaign back? Because it was with Wyden Kennedy for so long, then you took it in-house for a little bit, then it went dormant. It's back, what does that mean? I mean, it means a lot. I, I think it's just really exciting that that part of our brand personality is alive and well. It's always been the fun side of sports. It's always been the humorous side of the ESPN brand. Historically, like very few advertising campaigns stand the test of time for 30 plus years. This is Sports Center uh, occupies such a unique space in the, the cultural and advertising landscape because it exists purely as a brand item for ESPN to just be itself. The goal from the agency and from ESPN is for it to just be funny. And so for us, it was really just getting back to the original sensibility. Like we weren't trying to soup it up or modernize it. We just kind of wanted to get back to great spots, one after another that felt really authentic. Obviously with current athletes and current situations, but really it was all about kind of recapturing that original voice. I would love to hear kind of about how ESPN partnered with Arts and Letters to bring this Sports Center back. It really was sort of organic and, and symbiotic and they're certainly the right partner for this. Once we started vetting scripts together, we sort of knew we were on the right path. I think the relationship has kind of steadily grown over the years and this is Sports Center is an incredible campaign that myself and several people at Arts and Letters have, have worked on in, in past lives in our career at Widen and Kenny, New York had the opportunity to kind of work on it again now at Arts and Letters. We were um, super excited. It was exciting. It was intimidating being that it is a, a cultural staple and something that we've all enjoyed and followed for a very long time. So ultimately just a thrill just to be able to jump in and really start putting it together. We're super excited to you know, kind of show what, what we can do and um, to kind of carry the torch for this iconic campaign. Once you guys started conceptualizing This Is Sports Center again, how long did it take from conception to production? You know, once we have the scripts that we really believe in, we can move pretty fast. Because really then it just comes down to which athletes can we get, which athletes can we get on this day, which athletes are willing to come to Bristol. We work around the athletes' availability. There's more catering to them than there would be in like your typical sponsorship because historically in this campaign, the athletes aren't paid to be in it. They do it because they know the commercials and they would like to be in one. And we usually go into a shoot with eight to ten scripts and then we just see who can make it, really logistically. We had some that had different mascots in them and then that kind of led to the orange slices one that was like, hey, while we have Otto the orange on campus, like what else could we maybe pick up? That was kind of a bonus spot until it wasn't. Yeah, and then it, it kind of ended up turning out to be the, probably the best one of the bunch. Wait, so orange slices started out as kind of a like whim bonus spot and then it, you led the campaign with it? Uh, yeah. yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, the, the spot I think that we originally brought to the women's national team was the stoppage time one that kind of like would feature everyone and would, you know, it was just like a longer, more dialogue driven spot. And then the orange slices was kind of a like time permitting in the day, if everything's going well, we'll try and get this other one too. Everyone was really excited about it and wanted to get it. But, you know, we shot four spots in one shoot day, which is like pretty unheard of, I think, for any other commercial production. <laughs> when they said they were shooting four in one day, I just was, okay, well, good, good luck. The beauty of the campaign is that uh, it's so simple and so well known and the, the right script can be done so quickly like that. We shot everything in one day up in Bristol, Connecticut, there at the headquarters, and that was in late November. We delivered half before the holiday and the rest of them in early January. So two, three months round trip, you know, all the way around. What's the response been? Can you share any details about any reactions or anything? I think it's still landing and, you know, it's really interesting how it fits 
because whether you're a sports fan, whether you're a Delta State University fan, whether you're a U.S. Women's National Team fan, they resonate on different levels, which I think is what's really unique and universal about them. On set, like make, making all of it, um, it was cool because there'd be like crew members coming up and they'd been working on it for years and years and they would tell us like how much the campaign means to them, and how they're so glad it's back, how they're, they're glad to be back here uh, up in Bristol. I think for me personally, it's good to see a lot of people saying like, so glad these are back or just like general excitement for the campaign overall. The connection you make with sports fans is deep and sometimes you don't realize how deep it runs, but it's such a warm embrace and people are so glad and like, I think people need it too. There's so much going on. To have another moment of levity within a telecast is really important. We're just glad we can bring it to fans and now we're kind of back in action and we'll be rolling these out pretty consistently now.